super sharp little 1905 Rockwood Mini here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now there's the Mini, then there's the Mini Mini, and this is the Mini Mini, which is the single axle series. It is kind of its own special little group among Rockwood. Only a couple floor plans, but they're really sharp. This one being my favorite here, the 1905. It is 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. You're gonna see some optional equipment in this video, kind of like a car commercial. Uh, you know, there's uh, not every single 1905 we have is going to be equipped exactly like this one. Probably pretty close though. Mostly interior decor might be the only difference. So let's get dug in here. Now this is a Sapphire edition. This is not a base model, this is a Sapphire series. That's given us the vanilla ice cream skin package. We get the milk chocolate diamond plate down here. And now I'm hungry, because that sounds delicious. Anyway. Um, we're also getting the super cool frameless windows. These uh, these look really awesome. They uh, keep the window seal hidden under the window pane as well. And notice, you really can't see inside. You gotta put your nose all the way up to this thing. You gotta be looking at a light source on the other side to try to see in. 80% UV tinted, uh, so that you know it keeps your furniture from sun fading, and it also helps prevent those seals from getting uh, degraded prematurely. Um, uh, Sapphire series also gives us the cool looking aluminum wheels. While we're looking at this right here, first of all I want to mention uh, Rockwood's ride on radials. Even though this is the smallest member of the Rockwood family, they're all built the same. The, the physical structure and construction methodology between all your Rockwoods is identical. So this is on a uh, torsion flex axle here, so it's going to help, it's a rubberized shock dampening axle. It's going to soak up shocks and jolts and bumps and bruises on the road before they get translated up into your rig through your windows, along your roof seams, and then thrown forward into your vehicle. That's why you get tossed around when you're, uh, you know, uh, towing a lot. Um, box down here is your outside RVQ grill, which on the Mini Mini Series I think is an option. That has kind of fluctuated back and forth over the years. When you get the outside grill with Rockwood, you also get this cool little outside utility table. This is a neat little resin top here. This is not wood. So this is this can be left outside. The, the rain, the, the moisture, humidity, it can't work this thing over. It, uh, it's not like a uh, uh, the old wood style tops that had a, a, a T-molded edge where they shove a piece of trim in the side. Um, if those got wet, they would start to swell. This can't happen. It's just resin. It's plastic, you know. Indoor and outdoor TV setup. So this TV can go inside or outside, whichever you prefer. Um, or you could get a second TV and have dual zone entertainment should you be so inclined. This is also a really nice Furion TV. These are made to be shaken harder before they fail. They can get hotter, colder. They can uh, have more extreme temperature swings more quickly before you see component failure. It's better grade uh, electronics than what you even have in your house, more than likely. Um, big folding entry handle here. A lot of these uh, smaller single axle trailers, which I don't know if it's the real term, I call them micro campers. A lot of these single axle micro campers don't have a big oversized folding handle like this one. But again, everything in Rockwood's the same. This one just happens to be small. We also get really nice full LED light stripping under here because again, everything at Rockwood's the same. This one just happens to be smaller. Now, um, Nice things too, like this does have a full power awning. Notice it's got a pretty wicked pitch adjustment to it here. You can really crank one end or the other down if you want to get some good airflow going on. And the way you achieve that is through these uh, little pressure clamps right here. You can just simply loosen this up. Ah, you need two hands to do it. I, uh, I tightened it down with two hands and only have one. There we go. So construction, first of all, talk about micro campers, single extra campers. Most are only seven and a half feet wide. Rockwoods are still a full eight foot wide, so that's a big difference. This is six inches wider. Because Rockwood is the king of ultralights, it is not heavier than the other ones, however. Now, when we start talking about construction on fiberglass skin trailers, it's important we start looking at stuff like this. You, you can walk up to a lot of um, fiberglass skin trailers and you can pound on the sidewalls. But walk to the front wall, walk to the rear wall, Rockwoods are still laminated. Rockwoods are six-sided laminated. Both sidewalls, front wall, rear wall, floor, and roof, all fully vacuum laminated. And I stress the word vacuum because it is a stronger, better, longer lasting process than pinch rolling. Um, nothing wrong with pinch rolling, this is just better. By the way, uh, this one, as weighed coming off the line, 3,110 pounds. So 3,110 on this uh, full eight foot wide model versus uh, a lot of 3,100 pound campers in a conventionally built seven and a half wide camper. Uh, we are still getting a nice little outside shower here. We're even getting a black tank flush system so you can make sure your, your sewer tank is fully flushed out uh, when you uh, are leaving your campsite. This even has an antifreeze inlet uh, on the outside so that when it is winterization time, you don't have to take a jug of sticky antifreeze into your camper and risk spilling it. 
you see that there is a ladder on the back here because this is one of the very few micro campers with a truly walkable roof i think jaco is one of the few others uh, maybe cherokee anyway it doesn't matter it's, th this isn't about them now this is going to be one of the basically the only ones with a fully laminated roof uh, this is a zero flex true walk-on roof here in the midwest where we're from we had a record winter last year for four days straight it was colder here than on the surface of mars and that is a scientific fact it got cold it had a lot of snow snow can build up on these a rockwood can take the weight notice while we're looking up here too that the uh the, the bathroom vent cover right here that uh, goes over the oversized power vent fan in the bathroom and that is uh, going to let you keep more airflow moving through the camper. Really nice if you're dry camping because you can keep a six mile an hour breeze rolling through this little trailer. No sweat. Um, I think we've pretty much killed the outside here. I'm going to step inside for us real quick. Solar prepped, by the way. So if you do want to add a little solar suitcase charging system, that is very quick and easy to do. Um, let's see, what else on that side? Oh, this also has a handy battery disconnect. So fancy electronics like that big flat screen I was showing you. The, uh, the all-in-one Bluetooth player, even your refrigerator, your water heater, stuff like that still has a, a circuit panel in it. They don't shut off. They go into standby. So, uh, you know, they, they never actually stop using power. They just start using less. Uh, we're going to come back to the front of the trailer at the end here. But uh, right now, I do want to point out that um, things like your wood tones, your floor covering, your fabric covering here, all that can change. This is, again, a, a kind of a stock footage video, not intended to be every single 1905 that we carry. So let's get dug in. I was just talking about lamination. I just triple dog dare you to go pound on the roof of another micro camper like that, of most trailers. You'll punch your hand right through that ceiling panel of most trailers. Can't do that on a Rockwood because it is laminated. You're, uh, again, in your small camper segment, especially having full heavy duty hardwood doors like that that's uh that's pretty intense because that's what this thing's doing going down the road going down the road that thing is banging like crazy rockwoods are built to hold up to that now notice too that this is a a, a hands-free door it holds itself up with one or not only one rather but two struts to help keep that thing open um above the bed we have an extra vent for airflow and we do have cross breeze windows on each side of what will be the front bed when we get there and this is the sweet spot about the 1905 this is a front murphy bed and I'll, I'll set that up right at the end of our tour here but um you know you've got a daytime sofa a nighttime bed so in a 19 foot trailer i have uh, a bed a sofa a dinette a bunk above that we're about to see you have all the stuff of like a 30 foot trailer in a 19 foot box this is hyper condensed this is like a modern efficiency apartment but it, it's very good looking gets the job done um this is called the aspen decor by the way there's aspen sydney something else i can't recall at the point um just nice neutral mid-tones and uh the, i mean just really good looking high definition contrast on these i really like the look so while we're standing right here i want to point out a couple things remember that your flat screen uh tv goes over here it is included with the trailer and it is mounted on this little swing arm so you can pop it out at an angle to actually uh perfectly fit your primary viewing space here which is your sofa above that we do have an all-in-one am fm cd dvd bluetooth enabled stereo now even the stereo in a rockwood is a step above this is an irv series uh, irv i think 33 series versus the 66 in the bigger trailers what's interesting is they both have the same basic thing you can download a free app to go on any and uh, android or iphone and you can turn your phone into a wireless remote control for your stereo so you can sit right here and control this thing uh, right from your seat basically below your uh, entertainment center we do have a handy little charging station so that phone we were just talking about rests perfectly right there keep it charged and it's right by the door so if uh, you're outside under that awning and you get a phone call no big deal you don't even have to walk inside you can just reach up and grab your phone um we also have our uh, command center here which has like our, our uh, gas and electric water heater settings tank readings um, your uh, patio light switch goes right there your power awning i think i mentioned all that goes right there oh let me back up a little bit so over here this is another one of those dual purpose areas during the day the overhead bunk folds up and that just leaves us with a normal dinette we just have a normal dinette option here at night that dinette can fold down into a sleeper. This overhead bunk folds down and uh, rests against those little supports right there. So we have a double bunk set up with a front bed, or we have a front living room with dinette. All of your sleeping space 
goes away. Your sleeping space does not occupy floor space in this camper. That's what is so cool about this thing. That's why this one can take care of everybody, you know? Um, and even just smarter storage solutions in your Rockwood, stuff like that. And it is all plywood construction on uh, the boxes here. And if you lift this up, even under your dinette, you see it's all aluminum. Everything is aluminum framed in a Rockwood to keep strength up and weight down. Um, notice too, I'm not sure, I think you can see that right here. The roof of this is barreled. The roof does have an arch to it. So for tall guys like me, even though this is a smaller camper, it is still taller. It's taller, it's wider, it is bigger, yet it is not heavier. Because Rockwood's the king of lightweights. This is what they do. They are the original lightweight brand. They've been doing it longer than anybody. And stuff like this is why you don't upgrade from a Rockwood. You upgrade to a Rockwood. I don't get a lot of Rockwoods on trade very often. Um, Kitchen drawer here for all your sinks and whatnot. I put the coax cable for the TV in here to keep it stored out of the way. A little handy sponge uh, for your sink station. Notice that normally you would have very, very minimal countertop space in here. So they gave it back to you with a, with a, a sink cover that doesn't pop out of place very easily, obviously. And we also have the folding uh, glass stovetop cover here. So this uh, can work as extra countertop space or it can work as your backsplash when you're cooking. And apparently I need to clean my camera lens because that is gross. It's like my glasses. How many of you folks wear glasses and you pull them off your face you're like, oh Lord, how did I ever see out of that? Another thing to mention, Rockwood's going to give you a bigger 22 inch stove here versus a smaller 16. And frankly, most micro campers don't give you any stove. Most micro campers give you a little two burner stove top up here. You're getting a full fifth wheel uh, stove and oven here in this Rockwood. And then just extra stuff like most manufacturers leave a dead space under the uh, oven. Every ounce of storage counts and that's why Rockwood makes drawers under ovens like this instead of just nothing. You know, most manufacturers give you nothing down there. Um, the uh, One of the options you can put in this is a six cubic foot refrigerator freezer. What's interesting is it doesn't give you a bigger fridge, it gives you a bigger freezer. Because storage is such a premium in this small camper, we did stay with the standard fridge in this one. Again, others that we have in stock may vary. Our pictures generally match the units that we do have in stock. But uh, this gives us extra storage pockets up here that you just otherwise wouldn't have. Important to mention, 100% LED lighting here. Um, so that you're not going to have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs and whatnot. Now, the, uh, the rear bathroom here, they did give you lots and lots of leg room. So a tall guy like me can sit down, actually stretch your legs out and have no problems. I, uh, uh, let's see here, we've got a, a full-on shower. I mean, a normal full travel trailer shower and a micro camper. Whoops, come on, camera, focus with me here. Um, the, uh, you know, normally in these small campers, you don't get a full shower like this. Normally, you just get like a little corner shower. So we're still getting a full skylight, and we're still getting the full-on Creative Breeze fan here. Remember, it does also have that roof cover built right in from Rockwood. You could add that roof cover up there. That's 50 or 60 bucks aftermarket. It's not hard or it's not a big deal, but it is one more thing you then have to deal with from another manufacturer. And then the question is, who guarantees it? You know, if you have that work done aftermarket, are you really super confident someone's going to back up their work? I know we do because I've seen us do it. I don't know that every dealership does. I think some will. I think some won't. But Rockwood always backs up their product. And they will guarantee their own workmanship on that little roof cover. So even though that's not a big dollar deal, it is a lot of peace in mind. Now, um, I love the huge closet back here. And by the way, this does wrap all the way around. So this is exceptionally large back here for big storage. Now, back to the front section here. We were talking about the Murphy bed setup. I want to show you how quickly and easily this works. So during the day, which is two-thirds of your life, you just have a nice front living room. Now, because they, they have the sofa here, you still have lots of leg room for people to walk around you. However, at night, which is the other one-third of your life, you do need, I'm going to just set those pillows off to the side, you do need a good place to sleep. So the sofa folds down just like that with one hand. Then you can pull your bed down just as easily with one hand because it does have a pair of gas struts that assist it. And we are done. It literally took five seconds, if that, to turn this from a front living room into a front bedroom. And that's all it takes. You still have your two side-by-side uh, -side wardrobes. This still has nighttime bedside stands. Both stands have power outlets so you folks with CPAP machines you can still breathe easy at night and notice that the outlets are way up near the headboard they're right up next to your head exactly where they belong that is all there is to it and when you're done just as easy it just folds right back up sofa folds in 
and with only one hand, again, five more seconds, converts back into a front living room. That's all there is to this one, guys. This is as simple and easy as it gets. Uh, so give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care, stay safe, happy, camp.